almost day, I think it's day five. Now, you'll see the, the, the sea monkeys, they're moving around. Everything else is stuff that shouldn't be there. And it's really concerning me. I believe um, that second in sachet, if you watched their making a family video, that was wet, which really didn't dissolve, uh, had some kind of fungi in it. And uh, the white fluffy stuff can actually kill the sea monkeys. But what am I supposed to do? Because I don't have any of those sachets to make a new water, you know, another container. And I need three of them. And the guy's away, he said. And then, oops, sorry, then how do I not kill, like how do I move these babies and there's lots of them. Sorry. There are so many of these babies and they're getting a little bit bigger. what they were um yeah how do I do it without missing these babies because that that is still very very tiny but at the same time this stuff is even sticking to the um the plastic if you look down there if you remember from the first video it wouldn't dissolve down the bottom it's definitely from that. I shouldn't have used it, but then it's come out of focus. There we go. When there's a light source, they like to go up to the light source and they kind of like do a dance where they go around in circles. You'll see a couple doing that. Oh. See all that white stuff? That's not good. I've got lots of them, but will they survive? That's the thing. See that big piece of white thing right there? That shouldn't be there. Focus. Okay. So we'll see what happens. I can't believe I'm stressing over sea monkeys. Okay. Hey guys, it's Lily Bell from Melbourne, Australia. It's actually 4 a.m. and I have not slept due to yeah, issues, <laughs> pain. But I'm really devastated. I've only just got my mobile phone back. I had 35 sea monkeys. They were absolutely healthy up till yesterday. And 
at the very, you can see them now. They're dead. I actually got, had to get rid of eight yesterday. I don't know what's going on. The water is fine. See down there, the, the, the black, that, and there's even more over here in the corner. It's actually quite devastating because they were going so well and I've been waiting on my mobile phone to be fixed and then like it's I, it's, I, I don't know what to, to say. Can you see those ones swimming? They are, those ones that are dead right now were like that. They were perfectly healthy. There's no way I'll be doing this again. Do you see these sea monkeys? I don't think they're going to survive because they're dropping like flies. I aerate the water four times a day. They've only been fed twice. Um, I make sure that they're not hungry. Um, and it's not like I can take them out of this water into another thing so I don't have any... Um, the proper stuff for it. Well, this wasn't the video I was planning, but so there's a lot. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And the water's really cleared up. Like they were going really well, and I was really afraid because the water was really bad. If you saw the first video, and I was really concerned, but the water's really cleared up, except for the bottom part. And they're really growing. And then, as I said, yesterday, they literally, I was like, oh my God, I've got two that are dead. And then a couple hours later, there was another four. So this might be the last time we see these guys. It's not what I wanted for doing a family and I wanted to show you the growth cycle but that went out the window when my new phone didn't work and then my husband landed up in the hospital and they sent the old phone which was a new phone off to get fixed and then they figured out well after so many weeks nearly over a month that uh, it wasn't fixable and they gave me a new one. Oh dear. I seriously had 35, at least 35 sea monkeys, and there were some little babies as well. I'm, I'm just, I was going to film it with a tripod, but, you know, I literally just got up to get myself a hot drink, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Are they dead? I don't think. There you go, you can, hang on. See, they're dead. And they turn black. And it's not like, you know, as soon as they were dead yesterday, I took them out. So, something's killing these babies. Which is sad, because they're reaching adulthood. Well, actually, a couple of them are. And never even I've gotten mated, I've gotten pregnant, like my last lot. That one there, you can see. That's, oh, there's a big one there. <sighs> so guys, there may not be another video of the sea monkeys. Okay. As long as my other ones. And these were doing really good. And I have three packets in here. So there's not a lot left. Okay, guys. I'm feeling faint. I better lay down. I know, I look shocking. Um... Yeah, I'm really worried about the sea monkeys. I had to lay down really fast because I got really faint. My colours just done not come back. Yeah. But um, I tried to, I did try and get the dead, at least one of the dead um, sea monkeys out. But I just, if I waited any longer, I would have been on the ground. And uh, that's not good. Look, I may have been breaking out and I never break out. Oh, God. Still feeling faint.
the life of Sevier, I mean, and this is actually, I mean, yeah, I'm not doing good, but I've been a hundred times worse than this. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, insomnia, Israel. It is, oh my goodness, 447. Okay, guys, love you lots. So, I still haven't slept, and as you can see, it is light outside. Bad news. What I showed you at four this morning, my voice is going funny. <clears throat> they I disposed of. These are more. Look at them. They're dropping like flies, and there's more in here. I've literally done everything right. But literally there was 35 and now I see, if you see it towards the bottom, what they start to do is they stay at the bottom more. It's like they're weighted down and then they just can't swim anymore. It's terrible. This is not how I planned it. And it's not like I can just sift the water or anything like that. So if you see that one there there see how slow it is they're usually really fast especially when light hits them because they love light but they're really slowing down what is the worst is a day earlier there i had so many in here and there was uh baby ones that must have were delayed hatched eggs and now I haven't even been able to start mating. Those ones that you can see that are bigger. <sighs> yeah. Well, I've aerated the water. I've been, every time I use these to aerate, I disinfect them in hot water, just hot water. I've been doing all the right things. Just the way it is. Okay, guys, hopefully. I've um, um, got a little bit of hope, but not much. So we'll see. Okay, guys. So the last time I recorded was around 7, 8.30 a.m. It is now that time at night. And I've literally gotten rid of nearly all of them. They're dead. Not good news. Um, in fact, I can barely see any in here. There's about three there. Um, there. That one up the top there is one of the bigger ones. We did have more. Actually, I think I see there's about five. Um, see how it's got that one there? It's not see-through. Well, that's how I know that it's been, it's, it's not hungry. So I've only fed them twice. Because the first 10 days of hatching, they do not need to be fed. And that's how you can tell if they've had their food, enough food. And so I've only fed them twice. So, okay, guys, I need to go and lie down. Okay, guys, bye-bye. So as I expected, the ones that were left are now gone. They haven't turned black yet, but they're definitely no sea monkeys any more so that's disappointing um so yeah that's the end and i'm sorry that this didn't go to plan things happen and uh yeah a bit disappointing but as you can see there is nothing in there anymore nothing alive anyway so that's that's life isn't it okay guys make sure you look after yourselves love and respect yourself and others and if you're having a bad day remember there's always tomorrow take care love you lots from lily bell